So the next one, so I already told you guys you have to remember whenever you have a root, you have to you want to put that as a radical. Or I'm sorry, whenever you have a radical, you want to put that as an exponent, right? Because then you can bring it in front. Well, whenever you have a rational expression, we can always, again, we don't want to deal with rational expressions, right? We don't want to deal with the fraction. So let's change our fraction to a whole number by using, by putting it to a negative exponent. So remember this rule, 1 over x is x to the negative first power, all right? Same thing if I said 1 over x to the 2 thirds is equal to x to the negative 2 thirds, okay? Those are equivalent. So if I have 1 over 125, 125 is raised to the first power. So I can rewrite this now as log base 5 of 125 raised to the negative first power. Why would, and, and yes, go ahead. Why wouldn't it just be a negative 125? Oh, because the, the exponent's a negative. It's exponent, right. Yep, the exponent's negative. So now, why is this so important? Because, again, this brings us to the rule that we want to use. I can now bring my negative 1 in front, and therefore I get log base 5 of 125. So then I have to know what is a logarithm state. 5 raised to what number gives me 125? That answer is 3. So I have negative 1 times 3 equals a negative 3. Okay? So I'll do the last one.